The following is a presentation of BaseNet Intermedia. So here we are at the Bruins Stanley Cup Parade. Uh, it's about to start here at 11 o'clock. We're about a half hour before. And as you can see, this plaza is full of Bruins fans. I mean, everywhere you look, Bruins fans left and right of all ages, some who weren't even born the last time the Bruins won the Cup, some who were probably born while the Bruins were winning the Cup on Wednesday. And I've even got the lobster with me today to give us some trivia. We're going to talk to some of these rabid fans, and we're going to see if we can see the Bruins coming by on the duck boats right here by Copley, where the parade ends. And we've even got a big jumbotron here set up so that people who can't even see the street can still get a really good view of their heroes today. So I'm excited and Boston is all buzz and let's go Stanley Cup. So I'm here with the lobster. Larry's always the one for uh, the most information on pretty much any given Boston activity. Larry, tell me when was the last time the Bruins won the Stanley Cup? Well, uh, actually, because everyone probably remembers the time when, you know, Bobby Orr, you know, scored his goal and went flying across the ice, but that was back in 72, you know, you know, a lot of the, you know, a lot of the, you know, a lot of the kids today probably wouldn't even know about that unless they were told about it by their parents. You know, Larry, some of our viewers may not be from Boston and may have no idea what happened in the game on Wednesday. Quick recap. Well, actually, you know, believe it or not, I didn't watch the game. What? I'm shocked, Larry. Why not? Guess. Uh, I guess it, uh, there must have been something better on at the time. What can I say? He's hopeless. He's hopeless. So, Larry, tell me a little bit about the players. Do you know anything about the players? No, I don't really know too much about the players. So, Larry, how many, how many other kinds of awards has Boston won in the past few years? What would you say? How many titles? Uh, well, I know the, well, the Celtics of the Celtics have won titles here and there you know the Patriots you know a couple of Super Bowls you know and how many how many how many would you say that's been in the last oh ten years I mean, uh, it's really hard to say now by my calculations Boston have has brought in something like seven titles since 2001 and uh, you know that would be including you know the Red Sox winning the World Series the Celtics bringing bringing home the uh, the big basketball trophy and then also today with the Stanley Cup you rounded this crowd today do you think that we have mostly fans or do you think a lot of these people are well as it seems like we are just sort of jumping on the bandwagon for the parade actually a lot of these people I would say are definitely fans. And how can you tell the difference? Well, a lot of them are wearing Bruins gear. They're either wearing the uh, Stanley Cup shirts or they're wearing the Bruins jerseys. Well, now there is a Modell stand a couple of uh, blocks over that way selling, uh, selling shirts and jerseys. So what, who's to say they didn't just show up today and put one on? Well, well. That could have happened, but then again, as I said, a lot of these people that are here today, you know, are definitely Bruins fans. All right. Well, let's let's you know let's go to the crowd. Let's see if we can figure out who's a real fan and who isn't. You ready? Yeah. Sounds good. All right. So I'm here with Aaron and Jimmy. And what brought you guys out today? The Bruins. Yeah, you guys huge fans. Oh yeah, big time. Did you get to see the game on Wednesday? Definitely, definitely saw the game. So favorite play? Oh, I don't know. It's too many. Know. Everything by Tim Thomas. Everything. So you're big Tim Thomas yeah. fans. Tim Thomas fans. Now, was Marshawn a surprise to you, or did you see that coming? Um, I think we saw it coming. Yeah. yeah. I think we I'm saw here it with. Coming. Oh, very. David and Tyler. Yes, and what was the question? I, what's your name? Jacob. Jacob and Lucas and William. All right. So, oh, we got one more back here. What's your name? Oh. Max. Max. So, what brought you guys out today? 
Why are you guys here? Why are you guys here? Stanley Cup! Yeah, the Stanley Cup. So you're most excited about seeing the cup in person, right? Yeah. Yeah, how about seeing the Bruins on the duck boat? Yeah! Yeah? Have you guys gotten to come to one of these parades before? No! No, it's the first one. Yeah, so do you guys remember 1972, back when they went now? Yes. Why not? I don't know. Yeah, you remember it? What's that? First time. Yeah, you got the cup the first time. Yeah, very nice. Well remembered up top. Excellent. So uh, so what was your favorite play of the game? Anybody got a favorite play? Right here. When, when they were passing to each other and then they dived into the goal and then the puck went in. Yeah, that's pretty cool. How about you? When Marshawn scored the empty empty net goal. Okay, so now I have a question for you. That brings up a very good point. Marshawn fans, Tim Thomas fans. Marshawn fans first, go. Ooh, Tim Thomas fans. Whoa, Tim Thomas has a dominant lead here. So you guys ready for the parade? You ready to cheer on the yeah, dice? Yeah. Hello. All right. So Sarah, are you a huge Bruins fan? Yes. <laughs> How long you been following them? Uh, a few years. My brother got me into it. Nice. And who's your brother? James. James. It's his fault? You yes. <laughs> Very nice. I'm following the Bruins fans. Except for Kate. Kate was the true Bruins fan. So Kate's the true Bruins fan from the beginning. How long have you been a fan? Longer than they have. <laughs> Since 72 Lost. long? Very nice. So now, are you more of a Tim Thomas fan or more of a Marshawn fan? I'm a Marshawn fan. Timmy right here. Ooh. He's going to be the deal breaker. Oh, the Peverly. Hey. What? Marshawn or Thomas? Who's it going to be? Marshawn. Marshawn. So was he a surprise or did you guys figure he had it all along? I had no idea. I mean, I read so many things that he was the rat and he gets under people's skin. And the more I saw him play, the more I was like, I love that guy. Nice. So the playing is really what won you over. And why Tim Thomas? Because he's awesome. Because he's a rock. Because he's been solid all year. So really, it's kind of like Marshawn's kind of like flighty, off the handle, never know what he's going to do. Get in your face, under the skin, you know, like give a little love tap here and there. Yeah, well, isn't hockey all about the love all tap? Right, so right. here we are. we got two gentlemen here. Now, guys, I hear you were actually alive and able to watch television in 1972. Is that true? Yes, it is. How about you? Yeah, no, we were, we were young teenagers at the time. Do you remember the game? I do. What was your favorite part? What do you remember most? Bob Ewell's goal on the turnaround from the point and low, low to the stick side. That's, that's, what I've, that's what I've heard from one or two people here. How about you? Uh, Bob Ewell's goal. All those players influenced a lot of youth throughout the uh, years, and it was a tremendous thing to watch as a kid. So now is this you guys' first uh, parade? No, no, not for me. I mean, I've been to the Patriot parades. I've been to the Celtics parades, Red Sox. And now the Bruins. And lately, quite a few of those, yeah? Absolutely. It doesn't get any better than this one, though. Oh, I like it. I like it. How about you? It's my second parade. I went to the Celtics parade, the last one they won. Now, is this your <laughs> nice. Now, is there anything you're specifically looking forward to today? <laughs> um, just like seeing the Bruins go by, it would be awesome. Yeah. How about you? The same. Any crushes on any Bruins? Um, no, all of them. We just want all, all of them. them. <laughs> all of them. All of the Bruins come right by here. Yeah, that's awesome. How about are you excited to see the Stanley Cup? Yeah. Yes. Have you ever seen it in person before? There's a group of Bruins no. fans here. And something really interesting before. Why the math? Because I'm angry. You're angry about what? I want to beat the Canucks again. Again, you you don't, you don't think that the Stanley Cup was enough, right? So no. I, I, it you think that you've made off with the cup? Is that the real Stanley Cup? It's not the real cup, but I was like three feet away from it last night, and it feels so good. We brought it home. This is Boston's cup, so we have the cup. Now, what did you construct this out of? Uh, we got. Keystone, Bud Light, Coors Light, and some Red Bull just to give us some energy. And then uh, I use my spaghetti strainer, so my roommates can't make mac and cheese tonight, but it's all right. Very well, Larry, it's been a lot of fun talking to some of the people out here. You know, I hear that there are going to be somewhere around 20 duck boats today. Is that true? That's true, 20 duck boats. You know, I heard that the old duck boats were a different shape than the new ones, and so they had to build a whole new platform onto the new ones to actually hold them up out of the sunroof because the old ones used to have a deck. So I'm kind of excited to see that. Actually, I think I hear the duck boats coming. Do you see them back there? Ah, uh, looks like it's time for us to go, so we're going to go watch the parade. Have a good time. <laughs>
today at the parade, and I've certainly had a really good time watching all the all the boats go by and getting to meet all the fans who came out today to see their heroes in action. And I, uh, you know, go bees. I'm definitely a fan after today. And uh, of course, I've had a lot of fun with Larry. Come on over here, Larry. This will be our last official Holly in the Lobster. Yes, I, Anything yep. you want to say before we go to St. Louis? Uh, well, this may sound kind of corny, but um, the one thing I want to say is. Once you and John are settled in St. Louis, I hope you don't have any arch enemies. <laughs> and that's the humor from Larry the and, Lobster. Wait, and just a little, and a little surprise. Oh, I don't, I don't know about this, Larry. Oh, you're gonna like this. Oh. Look, no, you have to look. Oh, okay, all right. Ah! Doesn't that say it all? Doesn't that just say it all? Last time, Holly and the Lobster from Boston. We'll see you in St. Louis.